one step at a time. What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the exclusive combat cast gameplay breakdown for Garrus in Mortal Kombat 1. Breaking down his special moves, his fatal blow, how to play him, how to play against him, some cameos that'll go well with him, and even more. So if you're excited for Garrus gameplay, give this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into it. Honestly, I never played Garrus in MK11. I mean, I did a little bit, but he looks he looks 10 times better. He looks phenomenal in Mortal Kombat 1. I cannot wait to see what they bring to the table for him in his new gameplay. I'm gonna go with I went with Goro, mm -hmm. um, mainly because I love Goro, and also he does help with my game plan a lot. And we'll right. go through that. Okay, so some Goro like cameo moves. gameplay here. Moves. You guys so go. Real quick, Garrus has a couple. Uh, Goro has a couple moves. He has uh, punch in the air, right? So you can do that. To, yep. You I'm assuming a pop up. Uh, elongate combos sometimes, things like yes. that. Um, he also has a stomp. You which, can't have Goro without a stomp. We can't have Goro without a stomp. That's for sure. Oh. Stomp takes your entire bar. Oh, it does. Oh, it is full. See, so I know people would be like, "Stomp, you have to commit to." It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that that's fair. Okay, I respect that. Toss, which is, uh, I, did, I, did the wrong I do like that one for a combo ball. ender and a combo that's extender as well. Combo toss where he will throw you up in the air. Oh, oh then an air combo. Will, so that's that. that <laughs> okay, that was pretty sick. If you're ducking, for instance, uh, that can be, uh, it can be used to. Um, oh shit. Um, so th that's what I use. Now, let's, I want to go through some of the strings, and this will all kind of make sense a little bit how he works. Uh, my Probably my favorite string he has is forward 4-4, four, four, which is just hits the ground, pops you up. Oh, and my gosh. What a pop-up. Sand castle there? What happened? a little sand at the end. Boom. Knocks you up. So for this, then you can start doing your air stuff. Let's that's hot. Is that a low, too? Four unique grabs he can do in the air based off his air combos. Uh, so he has this. Where he'll give you the old pile drive. So he's a grappler yeah. in the yeah. air, bro. Yeah. He's still a grappler, it looks like. Uh, Chokeslam. <laughs> yes. You can choose what side to switch. Oh, oh that's this. smart. Put you back in the corner or something. And when you say with different inputs, what do you... What different do you... punches in the air. Oh, okay, gotcha. Lead gotcha. to different things. So one is one, two. One, the other is two, one. Gotcha, gotcha. And then he's got this one where he'll just... Where I did that one. It's really neat to see the air combat extend to grappling. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was just going to say. Air combat like, into grappling. How interesting. Yeah. Air combat, just a huge fan. I, just I mean, they're not going to block so it in the air. Like, so it's, like, uh, it's no, not like they can like, uh, oh, I, I, you can't block my grab. Well, yeah, you're already in the air. So I guess, but it's still pretty cool. But it's, you can throw this out there quite a bit. Because you get a big amount of pushback and you're right. back in the back. Mm -hmm. And an overhead? Um, he's got back one too, which is neat. Because this is just, this is that range. Where you like you don't want to be here, get a little closer, right? Mm -hmm. And that can be canceled too, so you can do like. Oh, like, oh that button. was hot. Did. Uh, let's do the throws real quick before I forget, because I know people get mad if we forget the throws, and I understand that. <laughs> they are very cool. Goro comes in and just Goro absolutely kind of face pounds you, bro. They, they didn't bit, notice, yes. right? Oh my gosh. Earlier, like first views of Goro. Oh, he's gotten a glow up. I would forget. I don't want to forget this too, because I know people want to see that he does indeed have body splash. And if a character has Ooh. a body splash, that's instant means Tyler's gonna play them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is one of the cooler moves too. He's got. Uh, I think we've all we've all seen the wall. He can do. He's got a little belly bump. A little belly bump. And you'll throw him through the wall. And here's the other thing. You that's can cool. Kind of throw this out, like from distance. Let me let me get a little far away from here. You can kind of. Even like all and then the pull them back towards you kind of to continue a combo. Right. It looks um, cancelable yeah. from there, so you don't have to break the wall, it looks like. Of how people block in no mercy for in it really four. does. So that's important. There it is. There right. it is. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go over some specials now. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the one that changes his game. Okay. It's called Countdown, uh, and he'll just he'll put a uh, hourglass out, okay. right? If, and this is what I was talking about, he wants to keep you out. Like, I want to, got it, now I have three loaded. Once he has three loaded, he can do it again, go nope. behind you, and now you are frozen, and the last move you take is the reaction you have, like the, like the frozen thing from mm -hmm. the last one. Right. Um, if you meter burn it, you have three already. Now throw a projectile. I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> Try again. So if you're re I got to read it harder. <coughs> go ahead. So if you do that, you can, if you're hard reading things like that, you can get behind him and whatnot. Sure. So once oh. you have that out, the game changes. Right. They are afraid of moving. Now it's blockable. It is blockable. Yeah. But they, the game How is are you going to block that? <laughs> I played a few where they're starting to read it. Okay. All right. All right. I got it. Here's another thing. Go ahead and do some, do some damage to me. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Now we have it set to 1% right now, but when you do that, the other thing you can do is if you meter burn the snap like that, you get you can re, re, redo what you've done, go back to where you were. Rewind time. Rewind time and get your health back. What? You can get your health and back? He uses the same clocks that he would charge for the... Yes. So behind you can charge the clock, mm -hmm. and once that clock is fully charged or three times or yes. whatever, then you have multiple moves that branch from that. Yes. Wow. Now... This it it, it, it There's gets, another layer. It gets better. Oh my god. I didn't show you one of the uh, different strings on purpose. Oh, okay. So you can do this. This string, as you see, brings out an hourglass. <laughs> mm -hmm. And guess what? That counts. That counts. It does. That counts oh. towards an hourglass That's accumulation cool. for one to three? Okay. Sandstorm. Mm -hmm. Right? Now is there different distances for sandstorm or is uh, it track? Uh yes, there are. Different distances. Gotcha. Um it also can be a meterless launcher oh right so you can be like this oh that's dope mm -hmm. that's dope okay meterless launcher those are really good sandstorm depends on where they look. like if they're at the back of it they'll fly backwards got the front of it the front that's forward. science now if i meter burn it you gotta set, see that uh mm -hmm. another clock it'll Ooh. time out and then then explode so you're kind of controlling space right Quiet. but that also adds to your clock interesting so I and I that's gonna force them to either advance. And then once it's out, you can you can freeze time, advance or you can also meet them again to go back to so, where you um, were and regain your health cool back from what you just bad. lost. Um, I really enjoy just hitting it, and then you can you know. Oh my cool. gosh, dude! Imagine oh, the comebacks so you're gonna have with Garrus, dude. Yeah, uh, he plays his own game. What I just showed was world stop, just backboard one. Mm -hmm. You can just stop time, and I can do this now i can go on i can go on either side too where i can hold back oh that's dope there. switch it's sides put you in the corner it just turns into the time stop. oh man oh if you meet oh nasty. my goodness he's nasty yeah. he's, he's pretty nasty the effects are amazing looking too he uh, definitely he does have a command grab which you can throw <laughs> he's a grappler so that makes sense Oops, sorry. like that mm -hmm. now here's the fun part Let's say you're in the corner. Let's say you're in. Now, I want... I would love Liu Kang to be in the corner. Right. So I can do that, right? Yep, there he goes. Or, if I want to do more damage, any time you throw someone away from the corner, you get the wall. Oh! Oh! Cool. oh that's nasty. So you can put him in the corner for pressure or just get the extra damage real quick by keeping them out of the corner? Interesting choices. Cash out that extra damage. Damage or positioning. Like, yeah. gonna damage or positioning. Around? That's a great way to put it. Whoa! Yeah, yeah totally. Um, at least I would. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, that command grab is really great. It can also, like, you can, it will, uh, it'll combo too. Like, if it's in the air, you can't, like, combo on the ground, but if it's in the air, you can catch people. The range on it is also very interesting. Yeah, so you can do it from close, but also, like, right about here so yeah, that's really really you good always and and also just point blank right so he's pretty much good up up close mid and far uh far i i he has a little more trouble far sure far he's gonna be able to set up his stuff i was gonna right. say then you're just press advantage. you're putting up right. clocks but who also far. you can start getting hit with projectiles during that period right. right and also like you will notice the more you play against the garris the snap thing it I've been blocked on it a whole bunch of times so people know that you're, you're trying sure. to set that up. But um, now, obviously, then, if they have the mental stack where they are then focused on blocking it or punishing mm -hmm. it or doing fireballs, that means that's your opportunity. You've established that. You condition them. Now he can advance forward and go for his overhead, his low, his grip. Yeah. You kind of make them want to block your uh, time stop that's thing, and then, like, okay, you're going to block that, but you're not going to block this instead, and it just kind of makes them up that way. So. Exactly. If you can't use the move uh, itself, you can use other moves while they're that, trying to block that first move. Rewind out of it. You yes. use it for that. That's a great point. So, so, uh, rewind, yeah, so we we just a, rewind out of it. Interesting. Is, this is a... Oops, that, there was again, sir. Uh, he's got this burst, right? Uh, denial here. And it, it's just, a, you know, just kind of a pushback. You can, you can combo off it. Me. Right. Nope. But I would say that's not the only time you can do it. <laughs> uh, it. But the cool thing is, it is his metered... Uh, it, it, it does a, a it's armor move. Armor move, yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. So let's say I'm in the corner and I want to wake up to it. I can. Oh, not me, there we go. 
gotcha. It gets armor. Man. Okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha. I like that it gains that. At least he's got something with armor. Oh, and it's a nice anti-air as well. Then combo from it. Ooh. So it's very close range, but useful in certain situations, especially in the corner. It all sort of flows together very, very well. Right. Once you start getting the game plan down, he has this move here, which is really cool. So go to go full screen for me. I can do this, and now look. I am ethereal. Now hit uh -huh. me. If you hit me, I can take a, oh, I can take a hit, right? So hold on. And then I will go back where I started. You can do that with projectiles. Oh! oh really? But now I can do like things like this, where I will walk you down. I know I have a... Uh, I know I have a hit I can take, or I can walk you down, and you're like, what's he doing, what's he doing? And I can... Command grab. Him. Oh, that's so smart. Now, here's where it gets crazy. Uh, this has been pretty crazy already. <laughs> yeah, there's like, more in, the There's more to this guy? Yeah, he, he's, uh, we've never done one of these things, but wait, there's more. There is one but wait, there's that more. That I said, make a video for, because I am not good at, the, good at doing it yet, but it's really cool. So let's... The meter burn version will freeze time, and you're able to use your clone and yourself. You'll see. Let's, let's take a look at that video. What? Ooh. So pop him up, freeze time, meter burn it, then use yourself and the clone. <laughs> That's so cool. Right. Really giving me some Kenshi vibes. Uh, oh my gosh. All right, let's check out the fatal blow for Garrus so too. He's got Goro as part of it. Battle is where, as it's distance, and then it teleports to you and grabs you. Oh my gosh. Cortez command grab. Look at this. So here's the part for Goro. So oh, don't He'll like that. Fine. I love this part. This is so good, dude. <laughs> Grabs both you smashes against yourself. I love that. I love that so much. For the way that Mortal Kombat does grapplers, this is super interesting. You can grapple in the air doing the air grabs. He's got a ton of ways to stop time, to, you know, kind of condition your opponent. He's got a command him on the ground. He's got ways to switch spots from the corner. He's got ways to make you guess, okay, he's gonna do his time thing or mix up. He, he seems really strong with a very good amount of tools to, to just really throw your opponent off their guard and keep them guessing of what you're going to do. I, I don't usually play characters like this, but man, I'm probably going to be having, I'm going to have to give Garrus a true shot, man. He actually looks really good and really clean. And I think he's going to be one of those like kind of like lab monster characters where you're just going to have to, you're probably gonna have to train or play a ton with him to really get down the all the layers that he's got to him. On the surface, okay, you know, pretty simple, fun combos and such, but if you really wanna master him, he seems like he's gonna take more than a few hours in training mode and in online fights to really, you know, kind of grasp how do I play this character and what can I really do with him? I'm intrigued on your thoughts, guys. Let me know down below. What do you think of Garrus so far in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you enjoy his moveset? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed Garrus, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.